not just the airlines that are taking a big hit. KPX finds Kit Doe on how support industries are also feeling the pressure. Kit? Yeah, so everywhere you look, there are signals that the airline industry and all these supporting businesses around it are tightening their seatbelts and bracing for turbulence. This is what it looked like at noon today. The drop-off curb at the International Terminal was eerily quiet, but the waiting lots for rideshare drivers was full. Driver Rui de Lima says the longest he's ever waited was an hour, but today he's already waited two hours, and he's still 90th in line to pick up a customer. Wait, so that means you'll be waiting almost three hours? Almost three hours. I never feel like this. this today is the record. That's the worst day. British Airways stock is down 16 percent. United and Delta are down more than 20 percent. Norwegian Air is laying off half its staff. And last week, industry experts estimated coronavirus would wipe out more than $113 billion in airline revenue worldwide. From workers on the tarmac to custodial staff, there is fear about job security. Workers for Prospect, who handles the wheelchairs, say their hours are being cut dramatically. You got a plan B? So far, no. Let's see how it goes. Business at the Boudin Bakery at SFO is way down as well. 50%, 60%, 80%. What? Manager Gio Oretta says there are simply no passengers coming through. You asking for volunteers to cut hours? Yeah, that's the first thing we did. Uh, we asked for um, if somebody who wants to go on vacation, take a day off. That's all good. For younger travelers like Josie Buckwall, all those sales of deeply discounted fares are tempting. What do you say to people who say traveling right now, even at your age, is irresponsible? I think they have a good point. <laughs> I, I couldn't really disagree because we don't really know what's going on and it could definitely hurt someone who's older if we do spread it. Um, I think it's probably safer to stay home. And the anxious employees we talked to today said it's been kind of the same sort of slowness for the past couple weeks. They expect it to drop off a cliff tomorrow when that European travel ban goes into effect. We're live at SFO, Kitto, KPIX5. Hi.